Hello, Pendle here and from Sandust. And I'm going to show you today very quickly what's quite unique about the new Dust Engine 2. And we're going to start on the very first articulation, which is a very good place to start. That one there. And this is made of two different instruments with four round robins and they chaotically work together. So you never know which one you're going to get, for instance. That's just me playing the same notes, adding some bass. So you're always you're always going to get something slightly different with this articulation, and this is made from the very rare and quite odd. Hammond 10-22-0-0 synth, probably named because it's a, a, an organ preset, in combination with the Dave Smith Evolver. So there's four different patches. The slightly windy one, or the windy ones, are the Hammond. And the more blappy one is the Evolver. And the point is, you never quite know what you're going to get. If I lift up the release, it'll be a bit... See? Hmm. If anyone can guess the tune I'm playing badly today, first one to put it up in the uh, comments gets a free whatever they want. Ooh, competition. So you've got this slight, you've got wobble because these have all gone through the chase bliss as well. So you've got the wobble anyway, but you've also got the, the kind of instability, which I think is rather lovely. Now you can calm the instability in two ways. You can bring up the sub bass over here. which gives you something a bit firmer underneath. So that calms it down. Let's tell you it's on the own, by the way. This is, this is another revolver patch, but down the bottom it's lovely and thick. And you can also add in the digital eyes version, which is particularly gnarly. And the other way of calming this is to add in the glue, which is various levels of extreme compression and other things. So that will also slightly calm down the instability, add in that fella as well. So that adds in a bit more stability as well. You may have noticed the release knob here does the obvious thing and the attack knob is less effective when you've got lots of glue on because the compression tries to find a signal. So there you go. So every time you play something it's going to sound a little bit different which is by design, I might add. Now let's just, I'll show you the other articulations because they've also got something funny going on. So the next one along, So what we've got here is stretched and tempo synced glistening piano. I can't say murmuration anymore because that's been used. A glistening haze of piano loop. 
there's also there's some very distant trumpet in there as well which adds this kind of blappiness in it's a bit john hasley quite like it and this is kind of inspired by the idea of stretching and pushing loops beyond their recognized zone so there's some kind of crazy tinkly stuff here and this is also kind of inspired by one of my favorite records uh which is transmission by joy division and it's got this amazing which i think is this kind of amazing this gossamer of tinkly pianos that comes in halfway through which i've always been trying to create and then the third one is a chaotic one with a bit of a guitar loop in there as well for extra and then they also reverse around themselves so that's not tempo synced at all and a slightly different sounding different piano this one is tempo synced which gives you this can you hear that so that's the kind of haze that to me can then go over slightly wonky chaotic stuff See what I mean? And then we can add in the sub as well. Now, if you use the mod wheel, it does some stuff. And if we push down or after touch, it does some stuff. So we've got to the reverse portions of the loops there. And that's it, really. Then you've got this engine, which does a load of other stuff on top, which is really quite lovely. Obvious one is to stick a little bit of reverb on there. But you can, just on a simple level, you can create these lovely atmospheres of heat, haze, tinkle. Make it into a pad. Uh, let's give it a bit of glue to just kind of fit it all together. Let's add in a bit of delay. I don't know what this kind of. Is. That's the sound in transmission, hidden in the background somewhere. There's also a hint of John Hasley trumpet. If you know, you know album on land. In my head, anyway. And then the lovely bass. See? That's, that's basically it. You can add more bass. Oh, there go the effects. You can add more tape noise or tape mulch for more filth but it's getting a bit lost in the reverb you've got other controls i've shown these off before i won't really do that now but really bottom endy thick or not and then you've got the arp which if you if we shorten the notes I wasn't expecting that. And the whole point is, there are no presets, because you can just play around here. You don't need me to tell you what sounds good, because you know yourself. And hopefully, especially if you put a load of reverb on, everything sounds good. But in the mix here, that's the start of the note, which gives you slight variation. But yeah, even there. You can just set a sound going.
Sí. There's previous dust engine videos that if you need to see in depth more what happens, but I really truly believe that's all you need to know. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the other side. Don't forget the competition. Name the tune that I've been destroying and get a free thing, but only the first one. I'm not that generous, okay? First person. Catch you later. <laughs>